Hi, this is Start 3D Modeling Channel. In this video, using this example, I would like to show you several operations for creating 3D solids in plasticity. Here I've picked a specific example. It's nothing particular, but using this example, I'll be able to easily demonstrate the functions I want to talk about. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any new content. So, I will hide this model, hide this geometry, and we will start by creating a sphere. Select the creation of a sphere, and create a sphere whose center will lie on the z-axis. Although it doesn't really matter, let's do it so that the center lies on the z-axis. Now, let's specify the diameter of the sphere. Press tab and enter 200 millimeters. Press enter and enter again to confirm. We have created a sphere, the sphere is selected, and now we will scale this sphere. To do this, press the S key to activate the scaling operation. We will scale this sphere along the Z axis, making it roughly like this. Let's make it so that the scale factor along the Z axis is about 0 0.7 and click OK. Now I will switch to a side view and create two auxiliary geometries, roughly like this. OK, I have created one line and I will create the second line roughly like this. OK, when it comes to drawing lines we simply specify one point, specify the second point and right click to finish drawing the line. To remove some geometry, we press delete. OK, I will close the construction plane view. We have this solid and two geometries. We will use these geometries, these lines, as cutting geometry. For this purpose, I select the sphere, press the C key on the keyboard, select the cutting geometry and click OK. Now, we will do the same using the second line. The sphere is selected. I press C and select this line as the cutting geometry and I click OK. Now I will switch to solid selection so that only solid selection is active. I select this part of the sphere, press delete to remove it. We do the same with this part of the sphere, select it, press delete and this part of the sphere has been removed. I will turn off the visibility of flat geometries. Here I also have the visibility of edges turned off. To turn the visibility of edges on or off, we click here with the right mouse button and select the show edges option. Now the edges will be visible. Here I will create an edge that will lie on the side face of this solid. To do this, we activate the isoparam command. I press the F key on the keyboard and type ISO to activate the isoparam command. Now I can create a line here that will pass through the entire surface. We can do it in this direction or by pressing the tab key on the keyboard we can change the direction. Now I will place this line roughly here so I'll click here with the left mouse button and we have created such a line. Next based on this line I will create geometry. I press the 2 key to switch to line selection mode. I select this line and use the keyboard shortcut shift plus D to create geometry based on the edge of the solid to create a curve. We click OK to confirm. Note that we have regular geometry here. Then I will again select the creation of a sphere and create a sphere here. I press tab and enter 20 millimeters as the diameter of the sphere. I press enter to confirm this and enter again to finish the command. Here I rushed a bit, I ended the command too quickly, so I press Ctrl Z to undo this. I select the creation of a sphere again. I do not want to remove material based on this sphere. I want to create this sphere as a new solid. To do this I again select the creation of a sphere. Click this point as the center point of the sphere. Press Tab and Enter 20 as the diameter of the sphere. I press Enter to confirm. Now, to create a new solid based on this sphere, we press the B key. I press the B key. Now I press enter and this sphere is created as a new solid. Now, this sphere is selected. I press the F key to activate the array along the path command. 
This is the curve array command. We select this command and as the path along which we will make the array, we specify this line. Next, we specify the number of elements here. Let's set, for example, here six elements so that there are six spheres here and click OK. Now let's remove one sphere. I switch to solid selection, press the four key on the keyboard, select this sphere and press delete to remove this sphere. Based on these spheres, we will create additional copies. Using the selection window, I select these solids. Now I select the radial array command As the center of the radial array, I select this point and specify the number of elements here. Let's create here 20 copies and click OK. This way, we have created something like this. At this point, all these solids are separate solids. If you would like to remove these smaller solids from the larger solid so that there are such undercuts here, first we select the larger solid which means we select the solid from which we are removing. Next, I press the shift key and using the selection window, I select all the remaining solids. The operation that allows for subtracting one solid from another, or in this case, subtracting many solids from one solid, means we are subtracting multiple solids from the first selected solid. This is a Boolean operation. We can activate this operation by clicking this icon, or we can activate this operation by pressing the Q key on the keyboard. I press the Q key on the keyboard. By default, the type of operation is set to subtract solids. Now, when we click OK, the solids we are subtracting, which in this case are the small spheres, will be removed. If you would like these solids to remain in the project, click the Keep Tools button. However, I don't need these spheres. I want them to be removed, so I click OK. This way we have created something like this. As I mentioned at the beginning, this is nothing specific, but with this solid, I just wanted to show you operations of scaling in one direction. Operations of obtaining lines passing through the surface, operations of arrays along a path, operations of radial arrays, and operations of subtracting solids. Here, as a curiosity, we can create this solid in such a way that we make a container from this solid. For this purpose, I switch to face selection, select this face, and choose the hollow solid operation. Now I can do it in such a way that we create a solid with walls of a specified thickness. Here we specify the wall thickness, or press the D key, and now we can also specify the wall thickness. If we want to specify this thickness inwards, that is, as in this case, we enter negative values. For example, I will enter minus three millimeters. Press enter and enter again to confirm. This way we have created something like this and we will finish here. Please check out other videos on this channel and subscribe to this channel.